there are uh, several steps involved in diagnosis and treatment of pneumonia as uh, with most diseases pneumonia cannot be diagnosed with only one diagnostic tool diagnosis is uh, like a puzzle that is solved on the basis of findings of different diagnostic tools available to the clinician and each tool plays uh, a very important role uh, and treatment should not be started unless all tools are pointing in one direction now because of time restriction we'll only discuss uh, two of these tools which is history and the other one is physical examination uh, the remaining two tools will be discussed in next lecture and the last lecture will be about uh, treatment and what antibiotics to choose so as uh, discussed these tools are history physical examination imaging tools the most important one is uh, chest x-ray uh, and the CT scan can also be used uh, to rule out other pathologies and ultrasound can also be used sometimes the last one is a laboratory test uh, the first tool is history so let's uh, talk about it uh, in case of pneumonia patient presents with the history of cough fever chills and lethargy but it is important to understand that many other conditions can and to present with similar symptoms for example cough and fever can also be caused by tuberculosis and cancer as well as a number of other illnesses so how do we make uh, up our mind at this stage uh, say for example if patient has had a close uh, contact with uh, another TB patient at home and um, or has been a heavy smoker we cannot just say patient has pneumonia and go home well patients uh, with tuberculosis or any type of lung cancer will normally have a history of weight loss as well age also plays uh, an important role uh, although there are exceptions in tuberculosis or cancer symptoms are normally chronic rather than acute so for the sake of simply CT uh, let's assume our patient is 25 years of age does not have any history of smoking does not have any family history of cancer and has not lost any weight and also does not have any history of alcohol or drug abuse also patient has never worked in mining industry or with asbestos or with chemicals so maybe we can think of pneumonia but uh, this is uh, not enough to make a diagnosis so we'll have to use uh, next uh, tool which is physical exam uh, now physical exam this is a very broad topic and um, this can be a detailed lecture but uh, we are trying to keep things simple and we are suspecting pneumonia uh, we will only do auscultation and percussion if the history was different this would not be enough though there are several good videos uh, available on YouTube so you can you can search on YouTube and you'll see uh, these videos that can be very very helpful now auscultation is uh, a use uh, is use of stethoscope uh, on different parts of the body to hear sounds uh, that are produced within the body so rails uh, a bubbling or cracking sound uh, rails on one side of chest and rails hard while the patient is lying down are strongly suggestive of pneumonia ronchi abnormal rumbling indicates presence of fluid in lungs now the examples of these sounds are also available on YouTube and also on website of uh, Academy of Professionals Percussion, which is the tapping of chest lightly with the help of fingers, a dull third sound instead of hollow drum like indicates either consolidation or plural effusion or both. And also, again, uh, the, the examples uh, of percussion are also available on YouTube. <coughs> so, consolidation, as uh, we know, is um, the presence of exudates in alveoli of lung uh, an exudate uh, can be either pus or fluid or blood <coughs> pleural effusion is the the presence of abnormal fluid between two layers of pleura 
lungs um, as we know are covered by a double layered membrane and the accumulation of uh, excess fluid in between these two layers is known as pleural effusion and it is um, a complication of uh, pneumonia as well as uh, some other pathologies so that is for the day uh, we'll discuss uh, these tools in next next lecture and this is the last slide uh, the lecture is prepared for uh, academyofprofessionals.com and these are the references thank you very much